In this video, I'm going to show you how to close running processes using command prompt or PowerShell. So first thing we need to do, we need to click on start and type CMD and press enter. And in here, we need to type task list and press enter. And right here, you're going to be able to see every running process. Then what we need to do, we need to type task kill forward slash I am. And then we need to type process name. So for this case, I'm going to use notepad dot exe and then space forward slash f i am stands for image name and f is stands for force close and then press enter and i think i just made a mistake i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna correct that notepad and then press enter and you can see it closed notepad also we can use pid number to close the processes as well so if you scroll up to your top of your task list and you can see second column is a PID number so let's open notepad one more time and then go back here and then type task list and then you can see the PID number for notepad is 5676 so what we need to do we need to type task kill forward slash PID and then PID number, so I'm gonna type 5676. And then same thing, space, forward slash F, and then press enter. And that's it, kill the process. And in PowerShell, what we need to do, we need to right click on start, and then click on Windows PowerShell admin, and then press yes here. And then in here, we need to type get process, and press enter. And it basically pulls the same process list. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open Notepad again. And I'll retype get process again. So that way Notepad is going to show up over here. And we can see Notepad is here. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy. And then we need to scroll down. And then we need to type stop hyphen process hyphen name and then process name notepad and then hyphen force and press enter and that's it it's successfully closed notepad i'm gonna open notepad one more time and now we're gonna use pid number to close the notepad so what we need to do we need to type get process again so that way we can find notepad process pid number and the process pid number it's it's going to be right here under ID column. So notepad, this is the ID number, a copy, and then scroll down. And in here we need to type stop hyphen process hyphen ID and then PID number and then hyphen force and then press enter. And that's it. It successfully closed your process. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.